so good morning everyone today we will start with the next topic in the digital filter if i had digital filter designing uh, so before getting into the numericals of the digital filter if i had digital filters we need to understand some considerations what are the considerations about the digital filters and then we will from next class onwards we will be moving into the numericals okay so uh coming to the consideration the first consideration it says modulus of h of omega is 1 okay so that means the amplitude response of a filter in the pass band is having a gain of 1 so what does that mean we have discussed previously that modulus of uh, h of omega it is nothing but modulus of y of omega divided by modulus of x of omega which is equal to 1 so if you simplify it take this x of omega on the right hand side so what we get we get this equation modulus of y of omega equals to modulus of x of omega okay in the pass band obviously so that means what what does this mean this means that the filter which will be designing they will not be having any specific gain okay whatever is the input we are giving we will get the same output out of the filter without any gain so basically the thing is that if you look into the analog filters you can design analog filters in two ways one is you can design the analog filter with gain and you can design the filter without gain so in the classical this analog electronics the filters were designed without gain and this digital filters and all these things they have come uh, from the classical electronics and uh, uh, this in, and instrumentation hence during the initial stages of the uh, designing of the any types of filter those classical information has been taken or considered for designing the digital filters also and hence if you see over here there is uh, the uh, the, out the output is equal to the input okay now if you look over here what does this mean this means there is no loss of the signal frequency components in the pass band okay in the pass band okay now the second consideration is the designing of the fir filters it is a direct process okay that means if you want to design a low pass filter you design the low pass filter directly if you want to design the high pass filter you can design the high pass filter directly if you want to design a band reject filter you can design band reject filter then as i said Uh, if you want to design band pass filter you can design band pass filter and so on whatever the type of the filter you want to design you can design those filters independently this is in contrary to the ir filters this is in contrary to the ir filters where initially a prototype low pass filter it is being designed okay wherein a prototype low pass filter is being designed and then we perform frequency transformation to get filters like band reject filter band pass filter high pass filter and so on even the low pass filter okay so why this is so this is because as i have previously discussed that when we try to design any ir filters we take the direct information from the analog domain filters okay so suppose you have designed an analog do domain filter so you can easily replicate or transform that analog domain filter into the ir filter through some uh, empirical formula which has been already given okay now then you apply the frequency transformations to get to the any of the filters so what do you mean by this frequency transformation so suppose 
we are having a filter what is the x axis real z imaginary z okay so suppose we are having a pole over here so there would be basically two poles one original pole and one conjugate pole okay so this is the activity of a or uh, this is the pole zero plot of a low pass filter now suppose i want to design a high pass filter so what i will do i can do i can change the positioning of this filter by frequency transformation and place both the filters over here okay suppose i want to design a band pass filter then i will move this poles there would be a conjugate pole for that one so we will be getting a band pass filter okay just by frequency transformation we can generate different types of the filter okay say for example how the uh, low pass filter will be generated we can change the position of this poles across the radius okay or we can slightly move this pole to a certain angle right so in this way we will be able to generate different filters by having the information of a specific filter and in this case we are having the specific filter as the prototype low pass filter so we will design a low pass filter and then through the frequency transformation method we can uh, we can develop other types of the filters okay then third point is individually and separately okay so what does this mean it is similar to the direct process that you can design the low pass filter in, in an independent way um, uh, high pass filter or the band rigid filter and this way so uh, you can design this filters independently or <clears throat> you can use a high pass filter a combination of a high pass filter and low pass filter to generate the band rigid filter or the band pass filter whatever you want to design uh, right so this is what it means either we can design this filters individually that means independently of uh, each other and in a separate way so independently means you are designing this filter separately with each other however you can also design by applying uh, this uh, cascading method or the parallel combination method which we have discussed in our previous classes now the fourth consideration over here is h of omega equals to m into e to the power minus j omega n okay here if you see the transfer function has been given with a gain which is magnitude of h of omega in the previous case in the first case if you see we have said that generally we will take modulus of h of omega as 1 in the classical the uh, type of fi filter however when we talk about uh, uh, designing some advanced level filters then over there we can apply some magnitude to the non filter okay multiplied by e to the power minus j omega n so in the previous case we have seen that we will be going with modulus of h of omega as 1 so this m it is basically 1 over here so we get e to the power minus j omega n okay so even though we can put some gain while designing the fir filters in the z plane also we have seen that we have given some bn but here we will avoid 
giving that bn or capital m into the transfer function while designing the filters okay so what it basically does is that it is giving e equals to minus of j omega m now this can also be written as e to the power minus j theta where theta is equal to omega m okay now what is this theta this theta is nothing but the phase component of the system this theta is nothing but the phase component of the system okay so what is the phase of the system phase of h of omega it is equal to theta omega why i have said that uh, that theta is equal uh, is equal to theta omega because if you remember i have already discussed with you that if we are having a pole at the center so if my phase is theta 1 then uh, this angle is theta 1 then my phase will also become theta 1 if my angle is theta 2 over here my phase will also become theta 2 in fact minus of theta 2 minus of theta 1 why because we have discussed that the phase of a system it is equal to summation of phases of zeros minus summation of phases of poles right so since this is a single pole filter so minus sign would be there okay minus sign would be there so if you see our theta of omega so what it happens theta of omega is equal to minus of omega n okay now this n it is regarded as the time factor so this time factor if you calculate it comes up to be minus of theta omega by omega okay and this factor minus of theta omega by omega it is regarded as tau p that is time delay it is regarded as time delay okay on the contrary if we take the derivative and we get minus of d theta omega by d omega this factor it is regarded as tau g which is called group delay time delay it is always associated with the instantaneous frequencies or the phases okay the phase change at each and every instantaneous frequency whereas group delay it says about the change in the frequencies uh, change in the phases for a particular group of frequencies okay change in the phase delays for a particular group of frequencies Okay. So we can see we are having a lot of advantages over here. So what are the advantage? Uh, what are the advantages? Its gain is one. We can design individually all the filters and all this thing. Then by playing with the parameters, we can either have <coughs> constant. Uh, phase uh, uh, constant phase filters or we have constant or uh, linear uh, constant phase okay so uh, linear phase filter uh, constant phase filter and linear phase filter so we can design the fir filters in these two methods we will be going uh, coming into 
these two um, parameters a bit later. So you just understand that in the first case the phase will be constant in the pass band. Okay. The phase will be constant in the pass band. In the linear phase fil filter, the phase will be linearly increasing. Okay. In the pass band region. Linearly increasing or linearly decreasing. Okay. Now, there are certain uh, red flags in the FIA filter. What are these red flags? There are no specific rules why we want to design the FIR filters. Okay? So there are no specific rules while we try to design the uh, specific FIR filter. This is because we cannot design an, an FIR filter which is having an actual cutoff frequency. So if you want to design a filter that I want to design a filter which is having a cutoff frequency of 100 Hz you will not be able to do it ok so this is one of the main problem with the uh, FIR filter design and the second thing is order of the filter ok so order of the filter of the FIR filters it's at least 50 ok and it can go up to hundreds ok why this is so? This is because we have already discussed that in FIR filters all the poles they are at the origin of the Z plane. They are at the origin of the Z plane. Okay, all the FIR filters they have the poles at the origin of the Z plane. So how the gains are being manipulated? The gains are manipulated by placing the zeros across the Z plane. Okay? So to have a specific output, to have a specific output, frequency output, we need to place a large number of zeros. And when we start to place a large number of the zeros, we also have to increase the large uh, increase the number of the poles right because we have discussed that the number of poles should be always greater than equal to the number of the zero so if you are increasing the number of the poles uh, zeros you have to increase the number of the poles and if you look what happens is that automatically your order of the filter it is increasing in the case of IAF filter, usually we do not go beyond an order of say 3 or in very extreme cases, the order of the IAF filters, they may go up to 10 which is very rare. Usually, second order filter, third order filter is sufficient to process the signals, any kind of filters, any type of signals. However, in the case of uh, this FIR filters, as I told you, the order can go up into in hundreds, few hundreds also. Okay. So, what it uh, does is that as the order of the FIR filter it is very high, there is an increased computational complexity while implementing the FIR filters. There is an increased uh, there is a uh, there is an increased computational complexity while you are designing the FIR filter. Okay. So coming by um, to the fifth point, when I say that the actual cutoff frequency cannot be uh, speculated, so what we have to do, we have to design the FIR filters by trial and error method by trial and error method. Okay. So all the filter designings, FIR filter designings, they are basically done by trial and error method. There is another method which is regarded as Kaizen method for FIR filter designing which is a, uh, which is a, what do you call, um, uh, which is an empirical formula based 
method but uh, that will not be covered in the chapter that is not in our course so we will not cover that field but if any one of you want uh, you can come to me uh, I, i can show you how it is done <clears throat> now what is this this is the az which we have been discussing few days back okay so from here we found that poles are always at the zeros and all these things okay so if we place the place a pole at the origin then if you see at all the frequencies the radius is 1 what does that mean our gain was 1 that means this filter this allows all the frequencies to pass through in an equal manner okay and hence this kind of filter where you are only having poles and those poles they are allowing all the frequency components to pass through it is regarded as all pass filter it is regarded as all pass filter okay now you may ask what is the importance of this all pass filter right because it is passing all the frequency components so what happens is that suppose you are having a low pass filter if you want to design a high pass filter how to design all pass filter minus low pass filter will give you high pass component or vice versa okay but there is one problem when you place the pole at the origin that as the theta changes your phase response will also change okay so it will change say 1 theta 1 then if you increase the theta 1 to 2 theta 1 then phase would be changed to 2 of theta 1 and so on right but it will be multiple in multiples of omega t which is basically the direct proportion to the theta okay you can see over here minus of omega t dot of that <coughs> now i have already told you uh, about the math mathematical complexity so if you see this is a third order filter order is equal to 3 and length of the filter is 3 plus 1 equals to 4 why there is a coefficient over here 1 2 3 4. since four coefficients are there so the length is 4 so l if you generalize l equals to n plus 1 length of the filter it will always be equal to capital n plus Okay. Now, if you consider this one, this equation, so what is happening? If you see in the previous case, what is the order of the numerator? It is two. What is the order of the denominator? It is two. So, how many coefficients you will be dealing with? From here three, from here three, three plus three, also six coefficients you will be dealing with. Here, what happens? We are having order of the filter is three, so you will be having from the numerator four coefficients, from the denominator four coefficients. So combining these two, you will be getting total eight uh, coefficients. Okay. So whatever is the order of the filter, you usually get the double of that. Okay. So if you see, 
if you have to design if you have to design if an fir filter uh, uh, a fir filter having an order of 100 then what you will be dealing with multiplied by 2 um plus 1 multiplied by 2 order ye hai na so 101 multiplied by 2 so you will be dealing with the coefficients of 202 2. so you see that's why we say that in fir filters there is an increase in the mathematical complexity but there is one uh, aim in uh, if you talk about the denominator what is happening z to the power n you will only be having this factor z to the power n okay now if you are having z to the power n what is z to the power n it is nothing but zero all the coefficients should be zero so basically we will be having the complexity of this term as 101 because the roots of this one they are zero right but still if you see in the limiting case of ir filter i told the what i told you that the maximum order it may be 10 so the maximum number of the coefficients it would be 10 plus 1 multiplied by 2 22 maximum uh, coefficients which is much much lesser than the number of the fir filter coefficients okay now again this time delay and all these things it has been uh, explained so time delay it represents the amount of the time by which a sinusoidal component at a specific frequency is delayed by the system okay group delay on the other hand it is a measure of delayed experienced by a narrow range of frequencies around a given frequency point the first one is amount of time amount of time that is being delayed the first case okay in the second case delay experienced by a narrow range of frequencies group of frequencies that you need to remember so what is time delay and what is group delay <clears throat> now when we talk about the <clears throat> constant phase filter in the constant phase filter if you see in the pass band when we are plotting time delay versus frequency the phase plot is constant group delay also this uh, phase will be constant okay in the case of linear phase filter they either linearly increase or linearly decrease okay the time delay and group delay it remains constant okay. so the fir filters so they can be designed to be either constant phase filters or linear phase filters however for the sake of designing filters for biomedical applications the linear phase filter fir filters they are more preferred okay so these filters they can be easily what do you call designed if we can design 
the coefficients to be symmetric in nature in other words if we can design a filter whose impulse response is symmetric then those filter would be linear phase fir filter then those filter would be linear phase fir filter so what does this mean this means that they have an equal delay for all the frequencies within the passback they have an equal delay for all the frequencies within the passback okay so from here we can see designing a linear phase fir filter typically involves making the filter coefficients symmetric in nature okay so let us understand what do we mean by the linear phase filter suppose i am having a sinusoidal wave where the uh, where i have sin of 2 pi f1t okay so this is the frequency then i delay this signal now after delaying the signal my signal it becomes sin of 2 pi f1 t minus tau t minus tau right so now my signal it starts from here and it proceeds moves forward now if i extrapolate this signal to time equals to 0 then my phase component over here it would be minus of 2 pi f1 tau equals to minus pi by because this is the phase component of the given signal so minus 2 pi f1 tau so what is that this is nothing but minus of pi by 2 yahan pe dekhiye jab when we are coming back so this is basically we are coming by a factor of pi by 2 in the negative half so minus pi by 2 so if you calculate for the tau so what we get tau equals to 1 by 4 of f1 okay now say for example then i take another signal sinusoidal signal where the frequency f2 is equal to 2 of f1 okay suppose this is the signal component okay now again i delay it by the factor tau now here what i will be getting the phase vector minus of 2 pi f2 tau equals to minus of pi because in negative i am getting to the zero so i am completing one half cycle uh, half a cycle so it is minus of pi now again if you look into the tau the time delay factor what is it 1 by so dekho this pi this pi cancels out so this negative this negative cancels out so we get tau equals to 1 by 2 of f2 which is nothing but 1 by 2 of f1 into 2 which is again equals to 1 by 4 of f1 so the tau the time delay it is 1 by 4 f1 and 1 by 4 f2 okay that is constant now if you look into the plot where we have the phase and if we have f1 and f2 so in f1 if we take the modulus basically in f1 we are having the pi by 2 in f2 we are having pi and if we see that this relationship it is a linear relationship and due to that reason we call it linear phase filter okay we call it linear phase filter so this was the <coughs> what do you call um, understanding what is linear phase filter uh, by visual uh, by visually looking into what is happening now let's look into what happens in the mathematical form so if you see we have a signal component of at frequency f1 
we have a signal component at frequency f2 which is basically f2 is basically 2 of f1 we already discussed right now what happens in linear phase filter this filter will introduce a constant delay to both signals regardless of their frequencies regardless of their frequencies the phase response of this filter can be represented by uh, can be represented as phi f equals to 2 pi alpha f so if you filter the signal f1 you will be getting 2 uh, pi f1 t plus 2 pi alpha f1 ok then next f2 signal if you filter we get 4 pi f1 t ok because f2 is here yeah, we should have got f2 but f2 is 2 of f1 hence we got 4 pi f1 t plus 2 pi alpha 2 of f1 ok now what is the phase difference between the two signals the phase components are the second components in both the cases now if you compare this one and find out the phase difference the phase difference is 2 pi alpha f1 so if you see the phase difference it always it is remaining constant in the case of linear phase filter and due to this reason they are being used okay so this constant phase difference 2 pi alpha f1 is a characteristic of the linear phase filters it shows that the delay introduced by the filter is same for both f1 and f2 frequencies resulting in a constant phase shift between the two signals constant phase shift between the two signals which is linearly proportional to f1 this represents the linear phase response of the filter okay so when you look over here i have we have only talked about f1 and f2 where f2 is 2 of f1 but if you take the analogy and if you look into the other frequency components in between and other and at other points you will find that this response this phase response it will always be a linear curve and due to this linearity we call this uh, type of filter as linear phase filters okay now coming to the type of filter uh, we had a very good important um, observation from there uh, or you can say a consideration from there that the coefficient values of the FIR filters they should be symmetric there is another word anti-symmetric also so symmetric and anti-symmetric and due to this reason whenever the FIR filters are being designed they are either uh, having coefficient values which are symmetric or anti-symmetric in nature so the first type of the filter it is called type 1 filter in the type 1 filter order is even type 2 filter order is odd type 3 filter even odd and length of the filter n plus 1 so if you know the order of the filter i am not confused i will not confuse you you remember only one either the order or the length and uh, then you can calculate the length if you know the order you can calculate the length easily otherwise uh, i have seen students get uh, getting confused okay exam time may once a year so i would suggest keep order in mind length you can definitely calculate if order is even then length will be odd okay so but as a teacher I have to give both the order and the length uh, the factual thing but you assume that length is not there you just remember the order of the filters okay. now looking into the type of the filter coefficients type 1 and type 2 they have symmetric values and type 3 and type 4 they will be having anti-symmetric values ok so what do we mean by symmetric and anti-symmetric so when we have even order 
so the length is uh, 5 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 values are there so if you see h of 0 it is this value it is equal to h of capital n is 4 order is 4 minus of 0 that is h of 4 so h of 0 and h of 4 they will be having same value similarly h of 1 and h of 3 they will be having similar value and h of 2 would be the central value in type 2 filter same thing but there is no central value so we have an imaginary line across that imaginary line you will be having the uh, symmetric values h0 equals to h5 h1 equals to h4 and h2 equals to h3 okay in anti symmetric uh, uh, this filter coefficients if you see we have a minus of h of cap, uh, h of capital n minus n so here we are having symmetric values now here we will be having anti symmetric values the negative values so h of 0 equals to h of minus uh, minus of h of 4 h of 1 is equal to minus of h of 3 And the central value will be the same, and similarly in the type four filter. Okay. I have only seen a blank face. Anyway, so <clears throat> suppose we are given with this transfer function, and when we are given with this uh, transfer function, if I ask you to realize. as i told you just expand the series and then here is the realization okay which is basically the direct form of realization right now from next onward if i have to go for a linear phase implementation what i have to do i have said that we are having some similar valued coefficients so if i have a similar valued coefficient if you look over here this equation i can rewrite this equation in this form uh, form 1 multiplied by x of z 1 is common over here 1 multiplied by x of z z to the minus 4 so i can take this coefficients as common multiplied by x1 z uh, xz plus xz into z to the minus 4 i can write it down so i have taken this two coefficients then i am having 2 and 2 commons 2 x of z z inverse then x z z to the minus 3 this is gone and this is a separate thing so if you see now instead of putting this delays in the straight line as compared to over here we have put it in the straight line so here what we are doing we are putting the z in the u form you getting my point so this is same if you see over here one we are getting we are doing the addition first xz output from the less uh, last ga uh, z inverse delay component that is being added then we are doing the multiplication okay then in the second case what we are having z inverse that means after z inverse and after z to the minus 3 after z to the minus 3 we are taking the coefficients we are uh, we are taking the values we are adding up and after adding up we are having a multiplier of 2 right and lastly after z to the minus 2 i am tapping it and just multiplying with 3 and then all these values they are being added up to get the y sign yes daisy why are you laughing <laughs> got it so this is called linear phase uh, implementation of the fir filter so over here what is the advantage if you see we have reduced the number of multiplications 
in the previous case if you see there were 1 2 3 4 five number of multiplications here we are having only three number of multiplications okay so the complete uh, computational complexity has reduced to a certain extent so here you know we can start it in the next class so i would say you try to implement this on your own not showing this you look into this equation and from there implement in the filter in the linear in the phase uh, implementation process do you have any other questions